Alright, I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. Uh, they said that if you like um, movies like Groundhog Day, uh, that Tom Cruise movie, I uh, can't remember the name, where he lives the same day over and over. It's, it's pretty much a genre at this point. You know, like movies that have to do with time and time looping. And I like them. I, I think I like every one of them. So hopefully there's another one to add to the pile of good time looping movies. So let's go. Attempt 139. Okay, so I guess right now he knows exactly what's going to happen because he's been through it a bunch of times. He said uh, attempt 139. So I'm thinking like a Groundhog Day where he knows every single step that's going to happen. Where have I seen this before? Oh yeah, The Matrix. Damn! Now the bullets aren't going through the couch. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, damn! That looks real. Like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> what the hell was that? Assassins in a minivan. I like that. <laughs> Cut his whole damn head off. Pull the Aztec move. Jesus. Haha, <laughs> Mel Gibson. Didn't they do this in uh, Matrix Reloaded? The ghost guys shooting at, um, I think, Neo? Oh no, I'm getting Matrix vibes here too. The CGI isn't perfect, but it's pretty good. Damn, this guy's everywhere. Yeah, the guy falling down or dropping dishes is straight from Groundhog Day. <laughs> the Wowie sauce. And not feel a thing. He has an actual physical picture. Damn, lit him up. She's dead. I need a plan now. That's a good shot. I need to make somebody pay. Hey, wasn't he on Matt TV? He's a funny ass dude. Okay. Yeah, I like that line. Mel Gibson's character just said. No one notices the house fly until it fucks up a bowl of soup. Looks like Ivanka Trump. Wait, I'm confused. Right now he had a conversation with a bartender. And everything she was saying was a surprise to him. Like it wasn't part of the loop. So did the loop end? Did it stop? In my way. <laughs> Stepped on his face. Alright, so we're back on the loop. Didn't even finish his meal. Oh yeah, old school arcades. Street Fighter. Looks like he genuinely cares about him. <laughs> Tired of it. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. So he's gonna pull every teeth out of his mouth until he finds that tracking device. Got her. <laughs> a little extra. Damn, got them all. Even the little dude. What the hell was that? <laughs> Ooh, man. <laughs> she just loves cutting his head off. Oh come on. And again. So is she like the final boss? Well he's trained now, so let's see if he can kick her ass. Man, he better chop her head off. What? There you go, pull it out. <laughs> Gotta walk it off. Matter <laughs> again. That guy's going crazy on him. <laughs> what the hell's the blood? <laughs> it looks like him too. So in this movie, they actually explain what's causing the loop. That's the first. Here we go. And he's gone. So, from 1 to 10, I give this movie a 6. 
it's not terrible. It's not great. I don't see it becoming a classic like uh, Groundhog Day. If this movie would have been made in the 90s or um, 80s, it would have been a classic. Because what they had to work with was pretty good. But uh, kind of dropped the ball a little bit. Not too much, but could have been better. Uh, CGI was good. Choreography was good with the fighting. But, um, yeah, there's way better movies out there. They have to do with the same kind of theme. Like uh, The Edge of Tomorrow. I was trying to figure out what the name of that movie was at the beginning. But there you go. That's way better. Groundhog Day is better. I mean, uh, yeah, Groundhog Day is way better. What is that, that birthday movie? Something, Happy Birthday to You or something like that. That one's, that one's funny as hell. That one's, that one's good too. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Check out one of my audiobooks, ebooks, paperbacks, or just donate to an app to support this channel. Link down below.